Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Their discouragement wasn't enough to put you down. Your determination brought you above and beyond all their foolishness. Some people get foolish when you get focused. And they will use that foolishness of theirs to cause you to be discouraged. Discouragement is the opposite of courage. Anyone trying to instill discouragement in someone is a fool. They will try to put you down when they see you going to make great achievements, going at great lengths to make those achievements. People who are the most serious often get played with by people the most. They may not stand for it. They may not stick around long for it. But people test them a lot. Because they just want to see. Just how encouraged you are. So. In a world where people want to discourage others, your courage has to be on a hundred. Your confidence has to be on a hundred. Your confidence got to be on a honey bun. Honey bun! Shout out to TSF Sauce Factory, Sauce Walker, Free L Train. Your courage got to be on a honey bun. You don't know what a honey bun is. We ain't gonna get too deep into that, but it's currency in some places. But a honey bun is another name for a hundred dollars. Honey bun, hundred dollars. As painful as it was for me to explain that, somebody needed to know. Your incur your courage has to be on a honey bun. Honey bun. Shout out to L Train. Free L Train. Free train. All right, your courage has to be on a honey bun. Can't be discouraged out here because you'll be an easy target. Discouraged people only get as far as the world or the people around them let them. Discouraged people only get as far as people will let them go. Discouraged people allow themselves to be controlled. Discouraged people allow themselves to be manipulated because they think there's something that's not there. Everything and everyone else. They have been discouraged to the point to where they feel empty inside and there's something missing. All that's missing is the awareness of what is in them. If they were aware of what was in them, they wouldn't be discouraged. But there was one point in life to where they became discouraged. Maybe they came to someone with an idea, a hope, a dream, a vision. And that person killed it, put it down, put them down. They didn't know what was happening. They may have taken this person's advice. And now that they've taken this person's advice... They don't feel the same way as they did before they listened to this person. And that's why you have to ask yourself, who am I listening to? A person will be full-fledged, going all out, putting it all to the wall to go do something and achieve something and make something of themselves. And you'll have someone who would rather discourage them than to encourage them. Encourage someone is to put courage in them. Instill courage. And courage is to instill courage in a person. To dis 
courage is like you're dissing this person. You're dissing this person, trying to break them down spiritually. Courage is a spiritual thing. You're supposed to have the courage and the bravery of a of, of a, 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 a warrior. You're supposed to have the courage and the bravery of a warrior. You're supposed to see yourself as a warrior. You're not supposed to see yourself as someone that is discouraged or someone that's easily discouraged. Discouragement is something that does not live in the house of God. God's house is your mind. What are you going to let live there? What's living there rent free? Is it discouragement? Is it somebody else's opinion? Someone else's view of you? Is it someone something to, is it something someone told you you couldn't do you have to kick those out of your mind and not let them take place within you if someone tells you you can't do something and you make the choice the mistake to believe them it's your fault at that point and they may have been convincing it may have sounded right, may have sounded like this person was giving you some sound advice. But if they're discouraging you and secretly putting you down, that's not going to work out well for you. It's not going to have you feeling pretty good about yourself. It's not you're you're not gonna feel too good after that. You're going to feel like you couldn't do it versus the person who can. And this is why they tell you to keep a lot of things to yourself. People will convince you that something can't be done. And if you fall victim to believing that, they got you right where they want you. And now, after the discouragement, after they get you to doubt yourself and trusting in yourself, that's when they slither on in and try to push their agenda. If it's your life, you should be pushing your own agenda. You shouldn't be accepting of discouragement from others. If someone tells you something can't be done, Nod, smile, and go complete it. Go show them it can be done. You don't have to convince them. It's their job to try and convince you. People don't try to convince those of things that can be done that don't think they can do it. If you think something can't be done, you won't have to worry about a soul trying to discourage you. You're right where they want you. But if you think that something can be done, you are public enemy number one. Just a mere thought of thinking that you can do something will give you levels of confidence unseen, unheard of, unbeknownst to man. All because you filled yourself with the spirit of the Lord. All because you filled yourself with the spirit of courage. You want to be courageous. You want to have enough courage to where you can do some remarkable things. You want to have enough courage to where things that seem impossible to everyone else seems possible to you. Anything is possible to the right mind, to the right person to take on the task. And you have to see yourself as such. The person who was created, the person who was made, the person who was chosen by God to carry out the task. The devil 
will try to discourage you, a child of God, that knows they can do something. All that discouragement because they see how much power that really is within you. They see you taking over the world. They see you being a king in your reality. They see you fixing things that needed fixing. You're not just going to let something go bad or something stay the same that needs changing. People will keep up on the maintenance on their car, but won't keep up on the maintenance of their mind. Don't let people make you think that it's something that you can't do. No one can make you think anything if you don't take in their thoughts and start thinking them. You got to block a lot of people out when there's things that you want to do in life. Keeping them a secret is the best thing you can do for yourself. People can't cancel the plans if they don't know they're being planned. They can't try to throw you off your game if they don't know what game to throw you off of. They only want to fill you with the same thing that's in them. And you have to be careful. Little jokes, little innuendos, little things people say. Because sometimes they're alluding to other things. How someone may see you, view you, feel toward you. Might even reveal someone's plans for you if you listen close enough. But discouraging spirits, they don't go very far. That's why you, you always see them in the same predicament, in the same place. Getting far, but never far enough always there to try to discourage someone else and stop them from getting further than where they're at. And the good thing about this is all they can do is try. They try to play off of your fears, your worries, your doubts, things you were misled upon. And they'll make you feel that what they say is correct. They'll fill you with all the doubt, all the fear and worry to keep you stuck and stagnant. No motion, no movement, no progress. Got you right where they want you. Because that was their goal and their aim to discourage you. But you can't let them do that. When people become successful or are becoming successful and there are those that want to tell them something different, there are those that want to try to try to get them to not believe in themselves, they ignore those people and they dis they dis they dis they discredit what they say. And it's going to time where you have it's going to be a time that comes to where you have to discredit what others say. Because you're going to see that they're not trying to get you to make the best move. They're trying to get you to make the less move. A stress move. They see you go to make a blessed move. And they don't want to see that happen. They want to make your blessed moves stressed moves. You're believing in God and you know that his power can help you achieve great things. And you're aware of that power in you and they're not. And that's why they allow themselves to be used by the devil to sow discord 
in the minds of others who they discourage. But the one thing about their discouragement is that it wasn't enough. Their discouragement was never enough. Their put downs were never enough. With each put down, you took a mental note. With each discouragement, you took mental notes, which allowed you to take mental preparation because you realized that what they were saying was a bunch of BS. And that if there was something that you really, truly wanted to do, you can have it. Because as the saying goes, if you want something bad enough, you'll find a way. You watching this video, I know you want it bad enough. So you uplift yourself. You encourage yourself. Because you know that what you want, not only is it already yours, but you're more than able to get it for yourself. Don't be discouraged by the people around you. They may see your faults. They may think this is false. They may not believe that you can do anything or you're going to do anything. Let them have their thoughts. It's their mind. Let them think what they want. What they think of you is none of your business and don't make it any of your business. Some of us are intuitive and have a strong sense of intuition. And we can tell what others may feel about us. We can tell that others don't believe in us. We can tell that with their words, what they meant, even though they didn't say it. We can tell when someone's discouraging us, or we can tell when we're in the presence of someone discouraging, or we can tell when we're near those who are using discouraging words. So the best thing for you to do to combat against their discouragement and their words that aren't uplifting is to encourage yourself and uplift yourself and realize that all you need is God and a positive mindset and a positive way to speak. People look at those who speak into existence, the things that they want, like someone that isn't too together. But again, that's none of your business. Don't pick up those vibes, leave them where they're at. If you feel that people are non-believing, if you feel that some folks aren't going to be too positive or motivational, this is why it's best to keep your moves to yourself. If it's something that you believe in, why tell someone? They may discourage you. You don't need that. If someone is encouraging, if someone is a ride or die, if they're on your side, if they're a true team player, you're going to know that, hey, this is someone that is would like to see me win. But even the people who like to see you win, it's best to not tell them anything because it's better to do it. Why tell anyone in the first place? It's best to keep your plans to yourself and that way you can carry them out without anybody thinking on it, putting any negative energy on it. Someone may not respond the way you want them to when you tell them something, and that could also be discouraging. You don't need to cause any uh, discouragement either way, whether it comes from someone else in the form of them not believing, or it comes from ourselves because we didn't get the reaction we wanted from someone when we told them this great elaborate thing we have going on. But either way, if you get discouraged, it's because you allowed yourself to. You have to replace the feeling. You have to rearrange how you think about things. 
rearrange your thought process, molecules, your energy, all has to be changed. Because when certain things happen, you feel a certain way. But if you can tell your feelings how to feel and control how you feel during that moment, you'll start to think differently. If you start to think differently and tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to control this. I'm master over this. I will master this. I will master this feeling of discouragement. I will overcome this feeling of discouragement. I feel I am always encouraged. I always have courage. I'm always courageous. I am courage full. You tell yourself the right things. You continue to work on your mind. Then when people go to discourage you, you'll see it as for what it is, a sack of BS. You are the type of person that's determined, and that's going to take you a long way. Determination will take you anywhere in life you feel you can go because you are determined. When a person is determined, they do it. They get it done. Someone has to walk somewhere four miles, however many miles to get to where they need to go. They're going to do it. I remember when I was living in a certain place, I was in um, a certain state. I had to take care of some business. There was no transportation. I wasn't aware of the bus route because I just got there. I asked some people about how I got around. They told me uh, there was, they, they didn't tell me if there was any transportation. So I wasn't aware. So what I was doing at first before I figured it out was I had to get around the best way I could. And I didn't allow any lack of resources get in my way. Why? Because I was determined. When you really want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. You'll make it happen. What I wanted was to wash my clothes because ironically at the place, the washer machine was out of service and I was the main person using it because I always wanted clean clothes. So now the washer on the premises wasn't working and I could have just given up, washed my clothes. I, at first, I just started to, I didn't know what I was going to do, but then I went back and was like, you know what? I could just wash them by hand. But then after that, I got tired of that and them not having the clean uh, feel that I wanted them to, to have, that I wanted to be possessed by. I wanted to I wanted to be possessed by the spirit of cleanliness because cleanliness is next to godliness and I, I needed some godliness in my life at that point. A lot of things can change your mood and can make you feel better just by doing things that you're supposed to do. Keeping clean clothes puts a good spirit on you and I wasn't going to allow them to take that spirit off of me. So what I did was I had to get around the best way I could. I had to walk. <laughs> I had to walk about a mile there and a mile back with a big bag of clothes until I got a job and I started working and I was able to Uber and pay taxis back and forth because that wasn't my rent or my food money. So with that being said, I was determined. I was determined to make a way to go get what I needed to do, complete it, and I wasn't going to let anything get in my way because I was determined and I was going to be above and beyond all the foolishness. They all were able to drive to the laundromat and ironically, you know, when they went to go wash their clothes. I would be walking. They would drive past me, honk the horn, wave to me. I would ignore them, not pay them any mind. 
I'd be there washing my clothes, ignoring them. They purposely placed themselves near me, next to me, so I'd have to be aware of their presence. I couldn't just walk a mile in my own shoes and go wash my clothes. No. I couldn't walk a mile in my own shoes and go wash my clothes. I had to be aware of the person who is doing better than me, who was able to drive there, who's able to drive back. And not that I wanted a ride, but if you're going to be all up in my business like that and not offer somebody some help and we live in the same area, to me, that's a little strange. It's also a little strange to be asking someone for help that you don't know like that. So I just minded my business and I just went back and forth about my way. But I did not allow that to discourage me. I made sure I had clean clothes so that way I could get to my interview, so that way I could get my job, and so that way I could pay my rent and take care of myself. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Not be discouraged. You're supposed to have determination and allow that to bring you through and above and beyond all their foolishness. You might might they have been playing games with me more than likely? Were they trying to rub things in my face? Yes, they were more than likely. Did I allow that to discourage me? No. Did I allow that to make me look down upon myself because I had less than them? No. I didn't care. I had I had clothes to wash. I had something to take care of, my business. And I wasn't going to let anything or anyone hinder that. I mean, these people were on it, talking about washing clothes. I even I even like they they man, they they slandered me, you know, gaslighting me all up and down the property. Oh, laundry day. Talking to each other people minding your business, letting you know they're in your business without actually involving you with them in your business, if that makes sense. But anyway, their discouragement wasn't enough to put you down. They tried to make things as difficult for me as they possibly could. They monitored my spirit, watched my progress, and saw what I was doing. Not only did they see what I was doing, they knew what I was doing because they were most likely in a similar predicament at once while staying there. But because they're all in that demon club, they let they let them live, you know? So you're going to have to stay encouraged because they're going to want you want to discourage you in more ways than one. They see your courage. They see your strength. They see that what you're capable of. And they want it to die. They want that determined spirit to die. But it's going to bring you above and beyond all their foolishness. Because that's all they are at the end of the day. People who haven't accomplished much people who don't want to accomplish much and those who are satisfied with their discouragement so much so they even want to pass it on to others so stay encouraged stay encouraged and stay encouraged and uplift yourself whenever you feel the need positive words are like water just like your your body needs water your mind and your body need positive upliftment and encouragement. You'd be surprised. People will be like, oh, man, I feel down or I'm not feeling too good or I don't feel too uh, life's kicking me in the you know what or I'm just not feeling it. Well, what are you thinking? What is the story that you're replaying in your mind? What are you telling yourself over and over again? What, what's the what's your mental VCR playing? You need to pop out this tape, destroy it, and possibly create another one. You are the actor, the screenplay writer, the director, all in one. So be encouraged. 
and continue to rise above and beyond their foolishness. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the share button. If you find it on your heart, send a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. My Cash App and my PayPal are in the description. And if you'd like to book a session, email me today. Peace, love, and light. We out.